started. Uh-huh. City talk. Let's get it started, 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 started. City talk. Let's get it started, 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 started. City talk. City talk. My man, Rob, 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 Let's get it started, 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 started. Oh, man. Oh, God, oh, 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 oh. My man. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is City Talk. We're the host. This is Big Four. And I'm Gerard Carter. Hello. We're back for another edition. But before we get into it, make sure you download the Coyote Man TV show network. You can find that on Amazon Fire, Roku, and you can also find it where you find your mobile apps. So uh, we're going to get into it, but before we do, it's June 13th. You said something happened today. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot happening today. You know, June is uh, definitely a powerful month, you know what I'm saying, for uh, uh, black music. Also, you know what I'm saying, also um, today, um, uh, June the thir- uh, 13th, uh, Thurgood Marshall was appointed to... Uh, Supreme Court in uh, 1967. Okay. So shout out, you know what I'm saying, Thurgood so Marshall. West Baltimore. West Baltimore. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, Frederick Douglass High School, you know. There we go. That uh, is. A little history there. And also, too, um, this week, um, it's going to be a, a, a strawberry moon. It's going to be a strawberry moon this uh, this week. Explain what the strawberry moon the is. The strawberry moon is more so like, yo, this is when the Earth orbits close to the moon, and this is going to be where the moon is, is the closest to uh, planet Earth. So go out there with your lady. Gonna go out there get a nice Sips bottle of wine. wine. It's gonna have like a red hue to it. Yeah, and, yeah. Well, like it's cool. gonna have a, It's called the strawberry. So, 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 so get some like some white zip. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Okay. Go get you a nice dessert wine with the lady and go on, drop some strawberries in there. Red velvet uh, cupcake. Yeah, with yeah, it. yeah. You know, <laughs> hey, you know. So yeah, brother G. Um, and yo, uh, one other thing happened on June thir- the thirteenth. What's that? It's Jerome's birthday. Yo, yo. shout out to Jerome McMurray. Uh, yeah, neck bone. What up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Good friend of ours. Should see him one day on City Talk. Yeah. So, um, what are we going to get into first? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I know that, yo, wasn't you telling me something about the, the Juneteenth situation? Yeah, you know, okay, this is June, and um, Juneteenth is a lot of celebrations are starting this week. Wow. And um, it kind of had baffled me at first. I didn't really understand, like, what that meant that people didn't, you know, know that they were free. So when I did some research, you know, you know got it broke down to me 1863 was the emancipation proclamation but juneteenth is until 1865 so i was like how could that be i thought once they signed it everybody was supposed to comply no the the states that were in the south still had a different opinion of what was going on we were still split so any states that were occupied by union troops it immediately went into effect Okay. But in all the states that opposed it and still had, you know, their military, they had to be subdued before it went into effect. So in 1865, that's when finally uh, General, Two years later. General Granger showed up with 2,000 troops and finally subdued Texas, and they had to comply with the Emancipation Proclamation. So that all made sense to me, you know, by then, you know. Yeah. So, um... Because also because, no, in, in, in January the 1st, 1863... At the stroke of midnight, slavery was supposed to have been over. Right. So, you know what I'm that's saying? That's in the Union But that was, in, that was two But two years later, that's when they went down they to Texas. They finally made it down. Because you got to figure, we didn't have cars. We didn't have no internet. No, you know, and the people down in Texas definitely wasn't going to tell. No, they, right. And they like didn't, you said, and they, they didn't were sending out. people down there, and they would turn them away. Yeah, they was like, oh, no, someone was getting killed. Right. right. They was like, oh, no, yo, like, yo, Texas was kind of almost kind of like, yo, like, I don't know what happened over there, but down here, we still, business is normal. You know, so you see the strength in numbers, and General Granger had to show up with those troops. And, uh, you know, it's crazy because there's a hardware store named Granger, and their slogan is, <laughs> the ones that get it done. <laughs> so, yeah. hey. Do you think that's where it came from? I, maybe so. I didn't get that far as in my research. You know, it just kind of popped in my head. But shout out to, you know, General Granger uh, for getting it done, you know? Man, yo, come on. Granger ain't doing man. Yo, we damn near like. Well, I mean, with the 2,000 troops. Uh, yeah, well, we, you know, the brothers, we damn near freed ourselves, like David Chappelle said. You know? I mean, I get it. But, you we know, had you, to, okay. sometimes you had to have, you know, that face to put their foot in the door and be like, nah, I let them in. Okay. You know, 
right. Yo, speaking of Ju- um, Juneteenth, um, I just saw this. Um, this was in um, online. I, I peeped it out. It was um, a children's museum in Indianapolis, and they they put a um, they put a, a watermelon salad uh, 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 on the menu. So it's just like hold up uh, in, in in celebration of Juneteenth. Yeah, celebration of Juneteenth. What's it, that was supposed a, it was to be in now? a it was in a children it was in a children museum in Indianapolis, mm-hmm. and they apologized for it and all. And I just kind of feel that's real distasteful. Yeah, it's just like kind of like the thing is, if y'all have friends that's other and they not aware, then maybe there's certain conversations that we may need to have to say, hey, look, you know, a watermelon salad or what Walmart did with the ice cream, then maybe somebody. You know, I think that's a good idea because. Not in defense, but some people may not understand how offensive certain stuff could be to a group of people, especially celebrating a holiday like that. Right. You know, and it's funny because I saw something, an advertisement for a Juneteenth Soul Food Festival and Market. And it's featuring, you know, it's three white hosts on the flyer. And I was just like, wow, like, you know, Sal, ain't no black people on the wall. Right. And, but it's in Little Rock, Arkansas. Right. So I'm trying to figure out, like, are you guys really celebrating Juneteenth? Mm-hmm. And if you are celebrating it without any black people, wh- what does that mean? Like, what you know, like, uh, yeah, that's confusing to me. You so in Little Rock, Arkansas, but maybe, yo, maybe do yo, maybe watch it afterwards, and then maybe we can you know, have this conversation. And, and I want to, I want to kind of say real quick, well, if you sympathetic to us being free. How about you live up to your end of the bargain and give us our money? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Let's fight for that. Yeah, 40 acres, and I'll take the 40 acres in the F-150. I, I, you can give me a house in the F-150. It ain't uh, yeah, got to be okay. 40 acres. It could be a okay. quarter acre at this point. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I'll see. I can see I can see where you're going at with that. I mean, it's just like a little insensitive like with certain things. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's I don't like, for example, I got a couple brothers that's ox, and that's like me coming on. The Ramadan after you know the same the last day, and I show up with some ribs, some pork ribs. Exactly. Yeah, I know better than doing that. So. smoke, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so like, nah, you know. And so. this, like I said, I don't know if they don't understand or they they just look at it as a, a way to make some money. Yeah. With, how how Miss Ramsey say carpet baggers? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. carpet bag, Jim Tank. Yeah, well, they, they, they yeah. Well, like, just see what what happens first. They right. might let they it, might let have it some guest right, 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 and then after. Then, then, you know what I'm saying, then we go on there. We'll so, talk about that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, then give, give them a chance. Give, you ain't give them a chance there for you it. You're judging the book by the cop. Sorry about that. Right, right. Speaking of that, um, Afram is this weekend. Okay. And uh, okay. Drew Hill Park. So, you know what I'm saying, they got a lot of headliners out there. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's going to be Gerald. I mean, no, I'm sorry. It's going to be the OJs. The OJs? Yeah, it's going to be, the, uh, I'm thinking Eddie LaFerre. Uh, you know, the, the OJs will be out there. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? Uh, Neil. Um, what's the... Uh, I mean, Neo's special way, nice. dude. What's the dude? Uh, uh, Al DeBarge. Al DeBarge. Oh, yeah. Al DeBarge going to be out there. I like there. it. Yeah, you know. Like okay, so, that should be dope. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Go out there, there, support the food. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I give it some thought. Depending on the weather, you know. Yeah. No, it's going to be nice. This, uh, all week long, it's going to be nice. Okay. I did go to the Hunt Fest. Hunt Fest was definitely nice, you know, so oh, yeah. over the weekend, yeah. That's I nice. went out there, got me a nice little uh, a corned beef, you know, what, no, a, 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 no, the, uh, what was that? Roast beef. I got me a roast beef sandwich. Oh, yeah, I got me a roast beef sandwich. You know what I mean? I came on out there. That was pretty cool. There you go, boy, hanging at the Hun Fest. Yeah, yeah. You know, just stop through there right quick. And, uh, yeah. So what you? What else you got, Brother G? I got some. Uh, this, this is kind of weird, you know. Uh, in Missouri, a court has ordered Geico to pay a woman $5.2 million after she... Contracted an STD. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I remember. I, I saw that online. <laughs> so explain to the people what happened with this guy called situation. It's crazy because, all right, she got the 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 um, sexually transmitted disease. Uh, she says she wants to be known as Mo. So she contracted the disease and she filed the claim. Right. And she figured she had an accident in the car. Her and her boyfriend were having relations. And, you know, she know it was him, but it was his car. So he's insured. So she said, "I, boom, file a claim. Geico said, get out of here. They denied the claim immediately. She took it to court. The state of Missouri said, no, we siding with her. $5.2 million. Wow. And now Geico said, well, hold up. Give us a chance to defend it. And they said, when you denied the claim, that was your chance. So you know Geico is going to appeal the decision, but she's going to get some money. 
Yeah, that's nuts. So that's that, so that means, so what about? <laughs> so okay, I'm about to, I'm about to be funny, man, right, right quick. So that means, so what about the you know people that was out here running around and they were picking up prostitutes and riding around the car and got and, and, and got stung in the car? So that means, yo, they, they they up for money too? You you know how human beings are. We're opportunists, and they figured out a cheat code. Because uh-huh. the way this, the, the way I read the story, it was like they were in cahoots. Man, got go kick her ass out that damn port. Bro. She said, "Baby, you burnt me." He uh-huh. said, "Hold up, hold up, I got insurance." <laughs> uh, that's crazy. <laughs> Geico about to kick out some bread. That's we gotta go to break. We gotta pay some bills. We be back in a few with the rest of City Talk. Y'all stick with us. City Talk. City Talk. We must secure our families. KFG Life Insurance Specialist is a company that partnered with 15 of the top life insurance companies to ensure you get the best pricing, knowledge, and products to suit your family needs. Some people believe that term insurance is better than whole life insurance, while others feel the complete opposite. Some may is the way to go and others may feel it's better to have a whole life policy the truth is neither of the products are better one just may be more suitable for your family our life insurance specialists are not biased as they are partnered with several life insurance companies this ensures our clients get the best pricing education and products that are suitable for their families let kfg life insurance specialist make these decisions easier for you and your family our office is located at Security Square Mall, next to Burlington, in the Coyote Man Show Network. Please call to make an appointment at 443-400-5224 or go to www.lifeinsurancespecialist.org. That's www.lifeinsurancespecialist.org. Let KFG Life Insurance Specialist help you prepare your family in the present because the future is not promised. Act now. City talk. Let's get it started, 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 started. City talk. Let's get it started, 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 started. City talk. City talk. Oh, my man. Oh, my man. City talk. Let's get it started, 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 started. City talk. Let's get it started, 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 started. City talk. We are back. We are back for the last next half of the show. So um. You know, we, 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 I'm sorry, Starbucks had something going on? No, Starbucks is down in New York. They're, um, they're unionized down in, in uh, New York. Okay, yeah. okay. So, yeah, so how do they say the employees are feeling about oh, that? Oh, they, they feel great about it. They got benefits. Okay. They got um, tuition reimbursement. Mm. And, um, yeah, you know, like, you know, Starbucks, you know, you just look at it like, damn, you know, you just going in to get coffee or, or, you know, ice, you know, iced tea or whatever, or the little cookies and can on. But, like, they got benefits, like, mm-hmm. real benefits now. Oh, and I think I, I, I don't quote me on this, but I think uh, after a certain time, you invested with them. After like oh, a yeah. year, oh yeah, you well, invested with them. You could retire from Starbucks. You retire wow. from Starbucks. So uh, Amazon uh, is uh, starting to get uh, starting to get unionized in, in certain states, states also. Okay, well, that, that's a big leap because, like you said, Starbucks came from just being like a uppity. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Now you know a real career. Yeah, I mean, but yo, people go to Starbucks, man. I ain't never seen Starbucks not. They almost like Chick Fil A right. a little bit. Yeah, you, they, you, they pull would, up, yo, you pull up, you're like, damn, what is they that? They actually are uh, considered the number two restaurant, McDonald's. And you're talking chain restaurant? Yep, it's, it's McDonald's, Starbucks, and then it's Chick-fil-A. And I think it's kind of unfair that they call Starbucks a, a restaurant. Mm. Because um, if not, Chick-fil-A would be the number one because Chick-fil-A is not open on Sunday. So. Right, right, right. And I, and I appreciate that because the guy, like, um, I forgot his name, but... Um, 
He said he feels as though all families uh, from Chick Fil A. He said he feel like all families should be home with their families on Sunday. Right. Or you know, they, that's why well, they Christians. Well, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah, they have certain Christian values. Right. Know. Right. Also, but then, boy, it's, it's hot out there today. Oh, yeah, see it this, is. The summer's not even started yeah, yet. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's definitely hot out there. Speaking of uh, hot, uh, Drew Hill Park, did you see how they re renovated the pools out there? No. They got the little pool slides, everything, state of the art, man. Oh, yeah. Yo, yo, can't believe it. Something Check nice it out. to take the kids to? Yeah, something mm-hmm. nice to take the kids to. It's definitely, it's definitely nice. The Olympic size, all that. They, wow. really, they really did it up, no doubt. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Also, too, um, Today, too, I also noticed that um, I looked online that, that, that today, Ohio, remember we were talking about the constitutional carry. Mm-hmm. Today in Ohio, they, uh, excuse me, they, um, they're one of the, uh, today they are constitutional carry now. So, so you, Ohio is a constitutional carry state? a constitutional carry state now. As, as of, of today. today. Yes, wow. as long as you're the age of 21. Yeah. Another June 13th. Yeah, so that's another June 13th today. And um, what else? What, what else um, to try and get into? Because, um. I'm going to talk about something. Um, you heard what happened, I think it was a week or two ago in Baltimore where a house caught on fire. Yeah. And there was a body inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was crazy because, you know, this is just, uh, you know, certain things moving slow. Um, the person that owned that house, his name actually is Daryl Brown. He lived in PG County. Okay. And for the last couple of years, he had been trying to get the city to get people out of the house. He kept call and tell them they're using it as a trap house. Okay. Now, you know what happened. Right. As far as, you know, we don't have to get into that. Right. But they were supposed to go eight days before that happened. The the city was supposed to go around there and get the people out the house. They didn't do it, jerk their feet, and then we see the tragedy that happened right. inside of there. And it's just like, jeez, man. Yeah, uh, but, uh, okay, now, the thing is, since we're talking about that, now a lot of these houses around here in the city that's abandoned, they are owned by other people. Mm-hmm, so the, th- the so the thing is, I, 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 if you have these houses, do something with the, the house. Now mm-hmm. that's that's not the city well, responsibility. A, a lot of people do don't live in the city. You know, a lot of people live out of state. Some of it's property left in people's family and stuff right, like right. that. And you know, some people don't realize they even own it. You know, it's, it's, you know how when you get away from something, you get detached. You know, and that's no right. excuse. But I think the city should have. Be able to have legislation to move forward faster. Yeah, but also too, a lot of those when you go down the circuit court, a lot of those houses that the, what got the tax liens mm-hmm. on them, you can pay the taxes on that house, and if people want them, you can get that. Oh, well, that's certain people's houses. You know yeah, what I'm saying? okay. But why don't the city? Why don't the city do that though? Like, in, in a sense, like if because I'm not too sure, but remember, I think remember they did have a dollar houses at one time, and I know they're trying to bring it back and all that. And it's just like yeah, um, the new plan wasn't really solid enough to right. go. Okay, so I just want to know, like, I mean, I get it; it's the city responsibility. But if you if you got a band, though, it's just like it's an eyesore to the neighborhood. Like, if you if you don't want it, then then get rid of it. Because I'm quite sure somebody can damn sure not fix the house up. That's right. I mean, but because I mean, the, it's, not, it's not just with that situation. Because there's people squatting in these houses. Right. It's not the city's of uh, uh, um, it's not their uh, responsibility to maintain your house or anything. Cut no. your grass or anything, but if it's crime happening in the no. house, right. it is the city. Well, somebody living grass. in it, that's a crime. If somebody's right. squatting in that house and they're not supposed to be there, that's trespassing at that point. Right, but if somebody in there, you know, doing what they two, doing. two people had OD'd in the house over the course of, you know, a couple of years. So, wow. you know. Yeah, but, well, also speaking, since we're on that topic too, because also I noticed this happened like two weeks ago and I saw this on the news and it, it, it kind of blew my mind with uh, Constellation, uh, Constellation Homes insurance like in the city what they'll do is they'll cover like any sewage in baltimore county or anywhere else but in baltimore city you know they won't cover the sewage so it was a woman she was complaining like Yo, i've been paying this for the last 20 years well, they don't they don't cover sewage backup i don't know if it's backup or not she, they just say the sewage line they just said the sewage line baltimore city they don't cover that but people was paying it and it was just like oh people need to really start to look at it because like this is insurance. That's yeah, just like I mean, that, that's like so, say for example, you got insurance with you know whoever Joe Blow, and they just tell you like, um, oh, we don't cover you. You're like, oh, I've been paying this for the last twenty years. That's a uh, that's an insult to injury. At the time, I've been paying this. That's like a serious. That's a super. Yeah, rip-off. because I've had insurance license before, and homeowners insurance is supposed to cover sewage backup, anything to de- deal with the sewage. They don't cover flood. You have mm-hmm. to buy flood insurance separate. So right. any water coming in, that's your responsibility. But they should have never sold it to the person in the first place if they knew. If they I knew mean, that. 
Right, I I would definitely have an agent or lawyer look over that. Policy. No, 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 no. They said we'll cover it this time for that lady. They said that we'll cover it this time because she had been paying it for over I think twenty something years. You know, she was an elder too. So wow. you know what I'm saying. So yeah, that was something um, definitely look into. And um, but oh yeah, and the Angelos family. Now that, this is an interesting story. The, um, the Angelos family they are fighting, talking about moving the Orioles to Tennessee or whatever. And uh, 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 John John Angelos. Um, he's the chairman and the CEO, and he mm-hmm. said as long as uh, Fort Henry is facing the harbor, then the, the Orioles ain't going nowhere. So Yeah, he had to say that because his brother came out and said that uh, he didn't lock everybody out of any operations with the Orioles. And um, I think the brother just threw that out there to get some attention because he's basically trying to get his fair share of what's going on. Okay. In the family business, that's that's some family okay. stuff they're going. Oh, through. okay, okay. So he just okay, he just was talking just because I, I I mean I, they I, talk I about they threw that idea around not not the actual audio organization but you know on sports radio they talked about that some years ago that they said that the Oreos were thinking about moving to Tennessee. I, I really doubt. Oh no, that's not. I, know. I, I mean, with memorabilia happened. alone, the Oreos make enough just to stay in the city. Oh, so too another thing. Morgan State has they hired a new. Football coach named uh, Damon Wilson. He count, he came from Bowie State. Oh yeah, and he also won you know championship down there. So he's gonna be the new head coach over at Morgan now. You said Deion Sanders had a real big impact on uh, no, what's HBCUs. Going on. Right. Yeah, no, what? Uh, yeah, he has man. A lot of he's getting a lot of top recruits and everything. Mm-hmm. You know, him and Nick Saban having a little the, the coach from Alabama. Mm-hmm. They've been worn it out. He was like, because you know Deion was bringing in real blue chippers. And yo, Nick Saban saying you giving money and all that, and nah, it's like I can't deny it. Yeah. They won't be with with, with prime time, man. Yeah, I mean, hey, yo, not just prime time. A lot of HBCU schools are now are starting to step up now. Like yo, they mm-hmm. they getting players across the the board. I think that's a that's a damn good look. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these schools, man, I ain't saying like HBC back in the day. A lot of them, like a lot, people don't even know that like. A lot of a lot of uh, Hall of Famers came out of Morgan. A lot of Hall of Famers came out of uh, Eastern Shore, which mm-hmm. don't no longer have a, a football program. No, Art Shell came out of there. Okay. So it's just like, man, like yo, hey, yo, definitely support. You know, definitely go out. Yo, go see Morgan. Check him out this year. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that because um, this brother sound real passionate about um, what he what he, what he doing over there. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, tell me about you was telling me about uh, Aries too. Oh, well, okay, Jack Del Rio is the defensive coordinator for um, the Commanders, um, mm-hmm. Washington Former Commanders, Redskins, yeah. for, formerly known as the Redskins. Right. And he went on there and tweeted, he was talking about the uh, the insurrections uh, and, uh, that January the 6th situation, and he blurts out and he tweets on there saying, oh, no, that was just the dust up. Just the dust up. That's what he said. He said he tweeted that, and he, they removed it and all that. And uh, Ed Reed was like, oh, hold up, like, wait a minute, like, oh, like, this, like he he put his personal twist on it, and uh, Washington, the, the commanders, they 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 stepped up and they charged them a hundred thousand a hundred thousand dollar fine. But like, I mean, I yo, mean, that that I wasn't a, that wasn't a dust up though. But. Uh, well, shoot, I I I would say it like this: if it was us in there, oh, I mean, what would have happened? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, you the know. only the only dust up it was is the people in there had the complexion, but um. I think, you know, he should be reprimanded a little bit more because you see the hell Kaepernick went through. It's like, don't bring your opinion to work then. Right. You know what I mean? You can feel the way you want to feel, but don't bring your opinion to work. It's, you know, especially it's like you looking at mixed race people in this organization. Right. Why you, you that arrogant that you think. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Like, and then the thing like is, that. like, so what do you think they do to a locker room now? Like, exactly. Like, you know, like, on real, like, you coming in, it's just like, oh, yo, that's what you feel like. Yo, like, I mean, we right. all know the job got to be done, but you put your personal spin on it. So it's and, and being a coach, you want to be respected by your players. Yeah, you know, if if your if your opinion about something makes me question your your integrity, your character, or something like that, I might not go out and put one hundred and ten percent. Right, field. right, right. Even like even even in just just in general, like I just kind of feel like sometimes you know people get caught up in their own little personal whatever, and then and, and, and you know and you let your and or whatever that is come out, and it's just like kind of like, yo, did you think about the, the next wave to this? Right. Because it's just like, yo, like you said, this is an organization that you, it ain't like you retired and just said, oh, it was a dust up or whatever. So, I mean. I mean, uh, that was that was a crazy day in United States history. You know, oh, for, without a doubt, you know, without a doubt. So, you know, like, I'm just sitting there saying, like, 
No, they, they got a super pass. Yeah, yeah. Super well, pass. Yeah. But, you know, speaking of some other people that was insensitive, you know what you talking about with uh, DL? Uh, oh, yeah, Monique. I, 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 really hope, I really wish that just go away. Monique and mm-hmm. DL, yeah, we, we grown. And you we said they didn't had a, a beef for a minute? Yeah, it was okay. like she did a stand up. I think they did it was in Detroit um, at the Fox Theater. And they, they had a, a misunderstanding. I felt like it, it could have been worked through. Okay. You know what I mean? And it's just like, um, I, it was so bad. I'm not even going to repeat what, what the, the thing is. All I know is DL said that Monique is a monster. And I just hope between two adults, I just hope that, you know what I'm saying, that they, they can get past this. You know okay. what I mean? Wow, it was so, that deep. I yeah, it was, it was crazy. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't even really want to repeat it. Wow. So, yeah. So, Brother G, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's hot out there. The school. Oh, that's another thing. Mm-hmm. The schools in Baltimore City. To to today, it was so hot that they let the, the schools that didn't have air condition. They let them. They let Again? them out. To the, yo, they let well, them out early so. today. Yeah, it was hot. Because right. I think it happened last week or week and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. Back when like when it was starting to get hot like that. So. So yeah. I mean, what, what's what's the issue with that? I mean, I. Well, I, I mean, there's a lot going on right now. Falls mm-hmm. that goes. That's just like yo, like on a real children, I just, I mean, yo, it's bad enough for adults. It's like, yo, the ones that got to work out there and things. Yeah, it's hard to learn in that county. Yeah, and, and, and we, we remember because we were in schools that, you know, didn't have air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people make the argument, well, we had it. You know, we didn't have it. But it's like, this is a different time. I, I would never want to be in that song. Nah. Yeah. And we just talked about that when, when the book records was up here about the air conditioning mm-hmm. coming in, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's even, it's even hard for the, the, the teachers to even, like, kind of teach at that time. You know, because everybody going to be agitated and aggravated. Right. You know right. what I mean? I guess that's when we learned that lesson in history. That oh. The heat definitely will ag- have a person real agitated. As soon as you cool down, you all right. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, um, yeah, Brother G, I mean, hey, um, can't, you know, playoffs, you know what I'm saying? The, the finals. The finals. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, who, 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 uh, you, who? I don't give a damn who win. I don't, you know what I'm saying? What it, what, it's Golden State and Boston. I take Golden State. You know? I like yeah. Steph Curry. Okay. I don't, I don't think I don't think he's a real human being the way he can shoot. Oh no 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 no! Shot. But you know his old man can shoot. Right, but he just do stuff that it was freaky. You know, being yeah, from half court and player, everything, right. and then that is and then that is sitting high. on the bench, yeah. going in the locker room. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think yeah. he was driving in his car and he hit one out the Maserati or something. Yeah, okay. But we hear that music playing, and we know what that means. You know what? This is City Talk. It's about the end of the show. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Next week for another 30. For another 30. This is Big Four and Rod. And I'm telling you, if it's Monday at 7, it's City Talk. Let's get it started. 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 City Talk.